My name is Marcus. My name is Connor. My name is Kara. I am one of them. This is our story. I think who Kara is, or how I would describe Kara, depends entirely upon who's playing her, because you have the option to make her multiple different people, depending on the choices she makes. But I think she, she does start out incredibly naive, incredibly innocent, and kind of hapless. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. She's a person who's characterized, I think, by empathy. She's a person who really, she, she just comes from her heart. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Kara! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Kara, leave her alone! The really beautiful thing that I've, I've had the gift to be able to do is to essentially build a person from the ground up because that's what she's doing throughout the game and with every experience she has and every person she meets she's building you know first emotions and then the sense of judgment and it's sort of an exploration of what it is to be a human don't worry luther and i will be right here david and the creators have painted a really intriguing and engaging picture of a near future where we rely upon androids for a lot of our service class business, our, the, the, uh, the class that serves us, that helps us, that handles our, that is our baristas and our drivers and our housemaids and what is humanity, where we tap into it, how and why we treat each other the way that we do. And um, my character Marcus has a really int intriguing journey. Becoming deviant, realizing that he actually has feelings and human qualities inside of him, and it's a really incredible ascension into becoming fully realized and coming to terms with what you actually deserve better than this in life. And not only do you want it for yourself, but you want it for your peers. We've come here to demonstrate peacefully and to tell humans that we are also living beings. All we want is to live free. You know what, this thing, Dad, is not your son. It's a fucking machine! I think that a group that feels marginalized, feels disenfranchised, feels like they deserve and have earned access to themselves and the environment around them, and are trying to figure out a way to articulate how to get freedom. Connor is analytical. Connor takes things literally. He starts in the beginning place where he's very mechanical. Uh, he feels nothing inside, of course, and it's all just a system, a protocol that he's executing to get whatever he wants to happen, which is help humans stop deviants and to find the link between deviant androids. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! But of course, over the course of the story, and depending on the player's choices, Connor can grow in many different ways. He can deviate from that procedure or not. Moment of truth, Hank. Am I a living being? Or just a machine? 